Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipnuski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a zoom transition in LumaFusion. Now, I think this is probably the easiest transition that there is to do. But before we jump into that, I just want to thank Aaron Anderson, who is a very successful YouTube channel, and he actually gave me a shout out in his latest video. And I was just watching his channel because I was waiting for him to do a review of, I, I thought it was going to be a tripod, but it wound up being a light stand. I wanted to watch it, so I'm sitting there, I'm eating with my friend, we're eating sushi. He starts talking about LumaFusion and talking about someone's channel who teaches how to do LumaFusion. And my friend's like, ooh, I wonder if he's going to, if he's talking about you. And I'm like, no, no, he no, he wouldn't mention me. And then he says my first name, and I'm still not thinking he's talking about me. And she's like, he can't pronounce the last name. He's totally talking about you. And then all of a sudden, up pops my video. I'm like, uh, 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 I was completely stunned. Her and I were like, yeah. I, I wish there was a camera rolling to just capture what my face looked like. I'm sure it was hilarious. So let's get into the transition, but before we do that, I have one more shout out, and it's to Omar Alvarado. Yesterday, I referred to him as Alvarez. I apologize, Omar. It is Omar Alvarado who requested that PNG video. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the Zoom transition. Step one is to pick out the two different video clips that you want to have transitioned together. As I mentioned before, this seems to work best with videos that are a little more action-packed, but I wanted to show off my niece, Holly. Isn't she adorable? She's a hospice dog that my sister-in-law adopted. She was only supposed to live like six months to eight months, so they've just absolutely spoiled this dog with complete love and just lets her eat off the table. The dog has absolutely no manners. Two years later, the dog is still alive. She still has no manners, but you know, it's a blessing from the Heavenly Father, so we, we give thanks for that. Okay, so getting back to business here, you want to make sure that all of your footage is color corrected and color graded before you go ahead and start making any cuts. So let's go ahead and we are going to do a 10 frame cut to the end of your first video and a 10 frame cut to the beginning of your very first video. So let's go ahead and count them out. Cut. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Scissor cut. Okay, so let's double tap the very first cut to get into edit. So what we want to do is go to frame and fit and we are going to drop our very first keyframe. Now what we're going to do is go to the end, drop our next keyframe, and what we're going to do is we're just going to make the size of this up into the low 200s. That looks good, so let's go over to color and effects, Hit the left arrow back key to make sure we're all the way back to the beginning of the clip. We are going to go to the water drop icon and we are going to go to motion 80. So what we wanna do here is we're going to pull this all the way back down to zero. Drop our first keyframe, hit the right arrow key to get it all the way to the end and we are going to pull this all the way up to 100%. Now we're going to back out of this and just have a little look-see and see how this looks so far. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit the next clip. And just like the other transition that I taught to you guys, anytime that you're doing a transition, whatever you've done to your very first transition, you're going to do the exact opposite in your next transition. And sometimes, you know, these things don't cooperate there we go. Okay, frame and fit. All the way to the very end, we are going to blow this up to 200 in the low 200s. That looks good. We're going to drop our first keyframe there. Go all the way to the end. And now what we're going to do is bring this down to zero. If you just hit this little icon right here, it's going to bring everything right back to zero for you. No fooling around with the sliders. Just go ahead and tap that. 
and it's going to zero everything out. Okay, so now we're going to go to color and effects, go all the way back to the very beginning, and we are going to go to the water icon. We're gonna go back to motion 80. Make sure this is all the way maxed out to 100%. We're going to drop our very first icon. Now the right arrow key to bring us all the way to the end, and we are going to bring this down to zero. And we're done. Let's have a look at the finished product. So obviously this would look a lot better with something that's a little more action packed, but you know, I just wanted to show Holly off because she's such a good girl, you guys. And that's it. Alrighty. And in a nutshell, that's your basic zoom transition. In my last video, I got hit with the question of why I chose to do eight frames with that particular, with the whip pan transition. And because I thought that the eight frames really looked best for the video footage that I happened to be working with. But these methods can be applied to any amount of frames that you want. If you wanna work with five frames, eight frames, 10 frames, 15 frames, these methods are going to work. So when you have all of these done, make sure that you always save all of these actions as a preset. This way, when you go to your next video, if you wanna drop in that same transition, all you have to do is hit the preset button and boom, you don't have to fidget around with the, the motions and the sizes. It will automatically drop that on there. Okay, and that's gonna do it here for me today. And until next time, wear your sunblock.